Hey there, folks. Jen Bunk here. Welcome to another episode of the People Stack podcast. I am CEO of the People Stack, and we help tech managers build your dream careers. In this episode, I ask the question Is your career help helping? Is the career help that you're seeking, that you're getting, actually creating a significant results, or is it making things worse for you? So stay tuned because this is a really important shift I want you to make. Is your career help actually helping? I know for a lot of you, the reason that you're watching this, listening to this right now is because you're looking for help with your career, because you're feeling like you've hit a career ceiling, like you can't get to the next level, like you're over overburdened, overworked, underpaid, underrecognized. You are working your ass off and you are not getting recognized for it. You are an accomplished technical leader. And there's something that's not working in your career. You can't quite describe it, but it's like, shouldn't I be further along than I am right now? And we're here to help you. We are absolutely here to help you. And the number one thing that I want you to get out of this episode is to ask yourself the question, is my career help helping? Is the help that I'm seeking, the help that I'm getting in terms of my career, is it creating a significant results? Because the best career help is going to translate into results. Not just advice, not just band-aids, not just, oh, why don't you go try this, but results. The proof is in the pudding, my friends. If your career help is not translating into significant results, or at least a path towards significant results, and you're moving in that direction, the help isn't helping. And so what I mean by results is 20, 30, a 40, or more percent raises. These are the kinds of results that our clients have gotten. This is how we measure our success at the people stack, by the way. The main measure of success, we, have, we, we love metrics. I love metrics and metrics love me. We have our metrics. We have our marketing metrics, our sales metrics, other internal operations metrics. But the number one metric that we use to make sure that we're winning is we look at our client results. Are our clients winning? So I want you to look at your career results. Have you gotten a significant raise in the past year or two? 30%, 40%, 50% or more. This is what our, we've helped our clients to do. So we know that it's possible. A significant title bump, a significant position bump, not just in title only and you're not actually really doing more, right? It's like, oh, fine, we'll give you a new title, but you're doing the same grunt work than you were before. A significant position bump. And also a significant recognition as a leader, which then translates into more resources, more power, more responsibility as a leader, which gives you a greater chance to make more impact as a leader. This is what I mean as results. And then also look at your life results too. Are you working your ass off 80 plus hours a week or even 50 plus hours a week? That is not good results. (laughs) So are you able to take the advice, take the lessons that you're learning from your career help, whatever that might be, And is it translating into real results? Because if it's not, it's not working. And I know a lot of you are seeking career help from a lot of different places. So some of you are seeking the help of professionals, experts like us, who are, who might brand themselves like we do as career coaches or leadership coaches. And some of you have gone that route. Some of you have done that and, or you're seeking the help of friends and colleagues, you're not, maybe you're not quite ready to do the whole, I need professional help kind of thing. (laughs) So to me, by the way, just so that you know, the way that we look at this is asking for help is a sign of strength. It shows you're a leader. It shows that this is not my area of expertise. I'm going to lean on the experts here. So for some of you, you're just not ready for that. And I understand. So you're asking your friends, you're asking your colleagues, you're talking to your family about your career your wife, your husband, your partner, maybe even your kids about, hey, this is what's going on in my career. It's not really working. For some of you, you're not seeking help either because you're not ready to or because you know that like as much as you love your wife or your husband or your partner, they're not career coaches. (laughs) So why could they help you, right? You sort of see that, but you're not even looking for help from anyone. So really the help you're getting is like internal, It's like you're having internal conversations with yourself, like, oh my gosh, you're tearing your hair out. How do I do this? And so you're trying to strategize yourself. You're you're trying to come up with the strategies and the systems to upgrade your career on your own. 
So whatever it is you're doing to try to help or help yourself or get help from others, I want you to ask that important question. Is it actually helping? Is it translating into results? Because if it is, great. Great. That means it's working. But if it's not, and I'm going to take a wild guess that for most of you it's not because that's why you're listening right now, is because you you want results. You want more than just a measly 3 or 5% raise. You want more than just an in-title-only bump. You want to be able to make a significant impact. You want to be able to lead a team and not just pretend you're doing it, which is what maybe your boss or your company is kind of doing right now. They're just not letting you, they're not giving you the resources to be able to do it. You want to get recognized. You don't want to feel bullied anymore. You want to, you want to work in a culture where you feel supported and where your innovative, sometimes off the wall ideas are actually supported and like cheered on and like, yeah, let's go do that. You want to be trusted and you want to work in a place where you can trust others as well. And you, you haven't been able to do that yet. And so it, the first step is kind of recognizing that whatever it is that you're doing to try to create those results in your career is not working. That's the first step. That's why this is so important. The other reason why it's so important to ask yourself the question, is my career help helping? Is my career help translating into actual career results? Is because if you follow bad advice, if you get bad help, it isn't just that it's not going to translate into good results. It's that it's going to leave you worse, worse off. You are going to be worse off if you have bad help. So if you're seeking the advice of friends or if you're seeking the advice of colleagues or family or even people who brand themselves as expert career coaches but are giving you terrible advice and doing it in a bad way, you're going to end up worse off. You're going to end up more frustrated, more chaotic. There's going to be more turmoil. There's going to be more stress. And yes, you may actually degrade your pay. You may actually end up getting a bump down it, because you're taking bad advice, because you're taking the advice that's supposed to be good, but it's bad. And we see this happen all the time and we don't want this to happen for you. So this can show up in a number of different ways, a number of pieces of bad advice that we've seen. So the first piece of bad advice that we've heard that, you know, often can come from a place of, I want to help, but it's just that it's, the career help isn't helping because it's not translating into good results, is that friends or even colleagues sometimes could say, yeah, you know what, you should just leave your job. Just leave your job. You have a significant, just go on the job market and you're going to get that pay bump and you're going to get that title bump. You're going to get that position bump. Just go on the job market. And it's kind of like, that's the end all be all panacea for fixing your career is go on the job market. Just go on the job market and it'll fix itself. You'll get another job. It'll be a significant increase in pay because you, know, you just need to change the situation. The situation you're in is terrible. So just change the situation and it's going to be better. So this is one time where it can backfire so drastically and where the career help isn't helping. It's definitely not helping. Because, well, for some of you, it actually may be good advice. It's not always good advice because it doesn't always work that way. Because number one, if you don't know how to be on the job market intentionally with purpose and on purpose, you're going to lose on the job market. You're not going to win and you're going to end up worse off because you don't know how to network. You don't know how to negotiate salary. You don't know how to have those conversations that are necessary in order to get a significant pay bump, title bump, position bump. You don't know how to network. You don't, you don't know how to network. You don't know how to market yourself. And this isn't a dig. This isn't a judgment. It's that most people don't know how to do this. And that's, you know, that's why we exist. It's one of the things we help our clients with. And so that's one of the reasons why this, oh, just go on the job market is bad advice. Another reason is because you may actually love your job and you may actually be able to get a significant title bump and raise internally where you are right now 
with the right strategies, with the right system, and with the right support, and you'd be giving up a terrible thing, and we don't want to see you do that. We don't want to see you give up a terrible thing and take some bad advice. So that's one piece of bad advice where it can just lead you down the hole of the help isn't helping and you're going to be worse off by taking help that actually doesn't work and create results. Does that create results? No. <laughs> because you're going to, okay, just leave your job. Okay, fine. I'm going to go in the job market. And then what does that do? That leaves you more frustrated because now you're working two jobs, your regular job and you're on the job market and you're up a creek without a, creek without a paddle because you don't know what you're doing on the job market. And you're rolling the dice with your career, which, as I've said before, we don't want you to do that. So another piece of bad career advice that we hear all the time is you need to get more certifications. That's what I did. So I went, and I'm not saying that's what I did. I'm saying these are what your friends or your colleagues tell you, right? I went and I got a whole bunch of certifications. I got PMP certified, and I got, and I actually, I went and I got my MBA. I got all these letters after my name. Right, so I went and I invested in myself and I got my MBA and I got PMP certified and that's how I upgraded my career. So do you have any certifications? Do you have an advanced degree? Oh, you don't? You need to just kind of press stop on the whole career thing for now and go out and get an education and then that's what's going to help you go and get, get more pay and upgrade your position and be able to be an even more impactful leader. You need to go do those, do those things. For some of you, that may be good advice. For most of you, it's not. But because it's very clear advice, a lot of you were taking it. And it's leaving you in a worse off place. Because you put your career on pause to go get those letters after your name. And at the end of the day, it's not the letters after your name that get you more money, more impact, more freedom, more joy, more gratitude, more balance in your life. And this is from someone who has letters after her name, MA, PhD, to name a couple. They mean nothing to me beyond, you know, that's their, they're not why I'm successful. They were a part of my journey and I'm happy that I did it. But for our clients, we usually don't recommend it. But it's, cause it's like, oh, but, it, but it's a very specific thing to do. I can go do that. I know how to go apply and get accepted to B-School and get my MBA. And then where are you left? Worse off. In debt, frustrated, burnt out, with less money. And now it's been two or three or however many years it took you to get there. And now you're behind in terms of the tech. You're behind in terms of what's happening. And you have this gap in your resume. Or you've just stayed at your position. You know, some people choose to leave their job, you know, and just dive into to, to doing their MBA or whatever full time, take a sabbatical. But for some people, it's like you and, and meanwhile, you're just at your job and you're not able to make as much impact because you're like tearing your hair out, trying to get your MBA or your PMP or whatever other certifications you think you need to get. So you're worse off. So what are the results if you were to take that take that advice? You have less money in your bank account, you're more stressed out, and you're making less impact at work because you don't have the energy or the time or the wherewithal of the systems and the strategies to really move forward and create real results. So those are just a couple of examples of ways that having, when career help doesn't help, how it can drastically backfire. And we don't want that for you. What we want is for you to be able to get career help that actually helps. And of course, I'm biased here. I admit it, <laughs> we're career coaches. But at the end of the day, if you end up working with us or with someone else, I, I want results for you. That's what I want. And that's what you, should, what you should want for yourself as well, is getting those results, raises significant raises, significant title bumps. And I haven't even talked about the, the life impact, like how much more time you have. In those examples that I gave, do you have more time or less time? You have less time because you're on the job market and you don't know how to do it 
So you have less time for yourself. You're getting an MBA, you're getting your PMP, you're getting another certification, you have less time. What I want for you is more time. We're all about efficiency here. And so that's really the shift that I invite you to make is ask yourself the question, is my career help helping? If it's not, get help that actually does help. And you know that we're here for you. And if you are ready to get career help that not just helps, but world-class white glove service who are the best in the world. I absolutely believe that we are the best in the world at helping tech managers to upgrade their careers, to build their dream careers, to upgrade their position in pay. And the reason that I'm able to say that is because of our client results and also because of our niche, niche, niche. <laughs> because we are super niche. I'm not saying I'm the best career coach in the world. I'm not saying I'm the best leadership coach in the world. I'm not saying I'm the best coach in the world. <laughs> I'm saying we at the People Stack are the best at helping tech managers build their dream careers. That's the outcome that we want for you. It's not just about the money, although that's a part of it. You know, there's some people out there, not going to name names, that are just all about the money. If you want a significant pay increase and that's all that it's about, there's people that you can work with that will help you just get the money. They're not going to care about your freedom. They're not going to care about your balance. They're not going to care about your time or your joy or your impact or your legacy. They're going to help you get more money. So if that's what it is, that's on us. We're here to help you build your dream career. That's the result. And it's your dream. It's not somebody else's dream either. Again, not going to name names, but there's plenty of people out there, including your friends, by the way, who are like, oh, you want a better career? I can tell you how to do it. And if you follow their advice, whose dream are you going to be living? Not yours, theirs. <laughs> so pay attention. Pay attention, 007. This is really, really important. Get the career help that's gonna help you create the results that you want. And if you want to create your dream career, your version of your dream, to put a line in the sand and say, this is what I want. My friends may call me crazy for wanting these things, but this is what I want. And I know that I'm capable of doing it with the best in the world strategy and systems and support. Then it's time for you to book a call with us, thepeoplestack.com slash book. Go to that link. You're gonna enter your time zone into your name, your email, your phone number. And then it's going to be on your calendar. It's going to be on my team's calendar. You're going to talk to one of my team members, one of our expert career strategists who we have trained intensely. And they are on our team because they are some of my favorite people in this world. And also because they are there to love you. They are there to have a career clarity call, a career breakthrough call to help you break through, to make the decision to finally build your dream, to get to that point of resolve. You're going to talk about what's not working in your career so that you can get to that point of resolve of, I will not take this anymore. I must fix this. You're also going to get extreme clarity about what your dream is on this call, on this 60 minute career strategy session, career clarity session. You're going to get so much clarity about what that dream is for you. And then if we're a hundred percent confident that we can help you build that dream, that we are the experts to help you do this, then we're going to talk about all the details of what it would look like to work together. So to start that journey, go to thepeoplestack.com slash book. So a lot of people say, this sounds too good to be true, Jen. I'm not sure if I believe it. Can you actually help me? There's a number of different ways that I've responded. I'm going to be short. I'm going to be to the point here. I don't know if I can help you, oh, person out there on the internet that I can't actually see. <laughs> I don't know. That's why you book the call. You have the conversation and we figure it out from there. And if it ends up being a fit and we know and we're 100% confident that we can help, yeah, absolutely, we're going to tell you. If we can't, if we know that we're, it's not going to be a fit, we're still going to direct you toward resources that are going to help you. Because sometimes you're just not ready. Sometimes it's not a fit. And we honor that too. We want to help you all. And if that means working with us, 
Yeah, absolutely. We're going to, we are going to encourage you in that direction, but sometimes that's not the case. We want you to get the best career help possible. So for some of you, that means booking that call right now, thepeoplestack.com slash book. And for all of you, ask yourself, you can quite the, ask yourself the question, is the career help that I'm receiving resulting in significant results? If it's not, you need to change what you're doing and get better help. Big hugs, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. That's a wrap.